Cersei Lannister is going to die. But is Jaime Lannister going to kill her? As a child, Cersei sought out a fortune-telling witch known as Maggie the Frog, who tells her that she will marry a king, have three children, and that all of her children will die. All of these prophecies eventually came true. But there was a final part of the prophecy which has yet to come true. Maggie told Cersei, and when your tears have drowned you, the Valonqar shall wrap his hands about your pale white throat and choke the life from you. In the High Valerian language, Valonqar means little brother. Many people believe that this refers to her younger brother, Tyrion, who has long been her sworn enemy, but it actually refers to Jaime, who is her twin, but was born minutes after his sister. Jaime saw Cersei as the love of his life, and he has committed terrible acts in order to protect her, like pushing Bran Stark out of a tower. He's even said, I would watch the world burn to get back to her. But in ways large and small, Cersei has been destroying their relationship and proving that she does not value him in the same way. She said nothing when Tommen kicked Jaime out of the Kingsguard. When she requested trial by combat, she chose the mountain instead of her brother to fight for her. She named Kyber the Hand of the King instead of Jaime, who has been her closest confidant her entire life. In her quest for revenge against the Tyrells, she neglected their last remaining child, Tommen, and he committed suicide. They were once great lovers, but the final cold-hearted gaze she gave him when she took the Iron Throne showed him that their relationship together was over, that she valued power more than she valued him. Jaime killed the Mad King Aerys Targaryen to prevent him from burning King's Landing to the ground with wildfire. By blowing up the Sept, Cersei has already committed an act of mass slaughter greater than anything the Mad King has ever achieved, and Jaime looked on the destruction with horror when he returned to King's Landing. The transformation of Jaime has been obvious, but the transformation of Cersei has been just as strong, if not more subtle. She began the series as a mother and wife, with long blonde hair, clad in beautiful dresses, and surrounded by handmaidens. Now her husband and all of her children are dead. Her long hair is gone, and she has traded her dresses for the armor of a queen at war, surrounded by knights, and she has proven willing to commit mass murder to advance herself. Cersei's path has led her to madness. Jamie's path has led him to redemption, and his ultimate redemption will be to kill his sister before she can slaughter the people of King's Landing. So what do you think?